Setting up the Fox Block ICF started with Zack drilling holes in the footing for the rebar reinforcement. Actually, I guess it started before this with me measuring and marking where everything went according to the drawings. Then Bonnie and I got to work stacking the ICF blocks. Bonnie was a Lego maniac, so she enjoyed this part. But we were both new to Fox Blocks, so there was a bit of trial and error as we went along. Horizontal rebar and clips are added to the assembly as it goes up. Vertical rebar is added at the end. We also screwed on 2x4s to use for positioning and leveling the ICF form later. That large gap is the rear garage door. On this side of the gap we'll have two windows. We measured and marked for the windows but still had to figure out the best way to cut the blocks. The jigsaw wasn't really deep enough to get all the way through the blocks and the circular saw ripped up the polystyrene too much. In the end we settled on a combination of the jigsaw to take care of the high density plastic reinforcement and the hand saw to finish the cuts. More vertical rebar. Here Zach is boarding up the end so the concrete won't just leak out. For the sides of the windows we use the nicer fox bucks. These will keep the concrete nicely insulated around the windows, but we still need to secure those with wood until the concrete sets. Then more vertical 2x4s for leveling the walls. We made the ends of the wall plumb and then used a string to align the wall between them. We used the level and bracing at each 2x4 to plumb the rest of the wall one section at a time. It was pretty easy. Here's that same setup from another angle. There was a slight challenge in the middle of that wall because we have a T section on the back and needed to align everything on the front including the internal reinforcement that you can't even see from the outside, but Bonnie figured it all out. We only set up the first four levels because we wanted to be sure that the concrete would consolidate all the way down in the forms. If we were more experienced, we might have tackled deeper pour, but as it was, I was glad we kept this first one simple. This angle gives a much better view of those windows being cut. Now you can see the fox bucks being installed. These bucks were also used as window sills and the holes were cut so that the concrete could be poured inside from the top. This other wall is actually the side of my mudroom. We decided to take care of it along with that back wall. Aaron came out to help with some of the final steps. On the day of the pour, things went very quickly. We'll have more details on the website about what went right and, and what went wrong.